Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now going to answer question number five from the October 2019, 2019 International A Level Edexcel Statistics S1 paper. Here we have a question about Venn diagrams and probability. It says a housing estate consists of 320 houses. A house on the estate is selected at random. So the circle D here represents the event that the house has a driveway. The circle X denotes the event that there are no cars per household. Y, the event that there's exactly one car per household. And Z, exactly two cars per household. All right. The Venn diagram shows the number of households in each region for the events D, X, Y, and Z. Okay, and then it says, first of all, it says, find the probability of D. Now, the probability of D means the probability that the house has a driveway is basically the probability of all of these in this circle D divided by the total, which is 320. So that's going to be basically over 320, you're going to have 40 plus 35 plus 88 plus 37. So that's 75 plus 125. That's 200. So you have 200 over 320. They cancel out um, what goes into both of these four. Four goes into 20. So that's 5 over 8. Okay, so there's your answer for probability of D. That's part 1. Okay, then it says part 2. It says um, the probability of D intersection X complement. So again, it's going to be over 320. Now, D intersection X complement. Now, if we think about that region, okay, that region is going to be D intersection X complement. So you've got D and X, okay, these two. Now, what this means, it must be in D, but it can't be inside x it has to be in d and at the same time outside of x so it can't be in this circle but it must be in this circle so it's only these three so the whole of this region here that we're looking at so it's those three numbers that must be added together to give the number of people okay in that set so what it actually means is the number of people if you go back to here the number of people who have a driveway but no household no car per household they have a driveway, but there's no cars in that household. So even though they have a driveway, they don't have a car. No cars. All right? So it's, it's those three numbers added together. So it's going to be um, 40 less than 200. So it's going to be 160 over 320. Because altogether that was 200. Take away that 40 from it. That's 160 over 320. That gives us um, a half. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, a half. 16 over 32. And then part three... It says the probability of D complement union Z complement. Now here we have union. Now union is a bit different from intersection. Okay, union means or. Here this intersection means and. It has to have, um, it has to have a, a driveway but no cars and no cars. Driveway and no cars. So D intersection X complement means it must be. Um, inside D and also outside of X. But here this union means or. It's kind of less strict. This is like the strict. This is less strict. So if it's, it has to be outside of D or outside of Z. All right? Outside of D or outside of, of Z. So outside of D would mean all of these. So if I just highlight them, outside of D would mean everything outside of the circle D. Okay? Means all of those. And then it says, all outside of Z, so now I have to, I have to now uh, shade in everything that's outside of Z. So it's this, this, and this, so all of those things as well. So the only part that's not included is 88. So basically, it's the whole thing apart from this 88 here, which is the intersection between D and Z. Okay, it's the intersection between D and Z. You can think of this as being the probability of D intersection Z complement. So everything apart that. Apart from that. So basically, it's basically the whole of the 320 except for 88. So it's 320 minus 88 divided by 320. And that will give us the answer that we're looking for. It's 320 minus 88 over 320. 
and that gives us 29 over 40. Okay, so those are our three answers. Okay, there's the three answers for part A. All right, so that's done. Let me get rid of these so that I might need it again. Okay, now for part B, it says, given that the house has a driveway, find the probability that there are exactly two houses, cars in the household. Now, this phrase, given that, very, very important phrase. Okay, what, what that means is, given that the house has a driveway, what it means is that now we are limiting our sample space to just the circle D. Okay, so we're only looking at circle D. This is our whole sample space. So now our denominator is no longer 320. Our denominator is now what is in D, which is 200. Okay, so now it's out of 200. Okay, so given that the house has a driveway, find the probability that there are exactly two cars in the household. So the, the set that stands for two cars is Z. So we got to see inside this circle D, what belongs to the circle Z. And we can see it's, it's these. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. It's 88 out of the total, which is no longer 320, but it's what D is. And the total of D was 200. So it's going to be 88 over 200. So the probability um, that there are two cars in the house object, which is Z, given D. That's what, they're, that's what they're asking for. Z given D. That's what that means. Probability of Z given D. Probability it has two cars per household, given that they, they have a driveway. So we got our sample set as 200, and it's only those 88 that we're looking for. Okay, so we can see that 4 goes into both of these. That will be um, 22 over 50. In fact, another 2 goes into them. That will be 11 over 25. 88 over 200. 88 over 200. 11 over 25, that's right. So there's the answer there. We can also think of this as the probability of Z given D is equal to the probability of Z intersection D over the probability of D, which is the same thing as we just wrote here. That's another way of looking at it. But for when you've got the Venn diagram, it's easy to just think, okay, we are now making the driveway our sample set. We are not looking at the whole picture of all the people in this estate we're only looking at the people in the state who have a driveway and then we're looking at the probability that from those people um, how many of them have exactly two cars in their household so that's the answer to question number five a and b now i'm going to go on to part c it says write down two of the events d x y and z that are mutually exclusive when two events are mutually exclusive there are no intersections between them okay so we could write for example x and y there's no intersection between x and y or if you want to you could write down uh, y and z or if you want to you can write down x and z okay and it makes sense that they are not they are mutually exclusive because you can't have a household uh, which has no driveway and one driveway at the same time and two driveways at the same time. Right? They can't have these things together. There's no intersection between these because these are the ones that have exactly one driveway, two driveways, exactly one driveway, sorry, exactly one house, a car per household, exactly two cars per household and so on. So not driveways, sorry. So X is the ones that, that they have no cars in their household. You can't have an intersection between that and the set of, the set of those who have exactly two cars in the household or exactly one car in the household because either you have two cars in your household or you have one car in your household or you have no cars in your household you can't have one car in your household and also two house cars in your household at the same time okay so that's what what it means because it's saying you know these sets mean basically those who have exactly one car and exactly two cars all right so there's the answer to part c pretty simple just i think any of these two Combinations of these two would be acceptable. You can write X and Y or Y and Z, X and Y and X and Z, or Y and Z and X and Z, whichever way you want to do it, no problem. Then it says, determine whether the events D and X are independent, justify your answer. So here, we what we should know, if, okay, event D and X are independent, 
then we should find this that the probability of d multiplied by the probability of x will be equal to the probability of d intersection x okay so we know the probability of d is basically we said 200 over uh, 320 which was 5 over 8 okay so you know the probability of d is 5 over 8 now the probability of x now x is this here which is going to be that's uh, 64 okay 64 out of 320 so we have 64 out of 320 that gives us one fifth so therefore we say the probability of d times the probability of x is equal to 5 over 8 times 1 over 5 which is 1 over 8 and we can say the probability of d intersection x now d intersection x is this which is 40 out of 320 which is also 1 8th so as the probability of d multiplied by the probability of x is the same as the probability of d intersection x therefore d and x are independent are independent of each other okay so that's how we can do it if we can prove that the probability of the intersection is equal to the probability of the products of the separate parts then we know that they are independent of each other okay so you must men you can't just show that you can't just show this you have to mention you know as they are the product of the separate probabilities is equal to the product uh, is equal to the uh, um, intersection the probability of the intersection therefore d and x are independent so you must give a little reasoning for your answer okay now then it says define in the context of this question the event d complement intersection z okay so what does d complement intersection z mean so what it means is that they have to be outside d and inside z so z is um, the ones that have exactly two households so that means those are the people okay the um, the 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 event this is that um, the house has no driveway and there are two cars per household okay there are exactly two house two cars per household okay i'll just write the word exactly there okay so that's part one okay and part two it says d intersection x union y so it means that they must have a driveway so the house this is that the house has a driveway the house has a driveway it must have a driveway because it's d intersection however they must be either in these two sets which means they have and the and there are okay x or y either no cars or exactly one car per household so you can say you know there are basically um there are one or less cars per household or less cars per household you could say okay so those are the those are the that 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 event represents um basically these two okay that the 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 the, the, the car is these two basically all right that it's x union y intersection with d so it's basically going to be this region over here and that region over there 
Okay, so they have to have a driveway, but they either have no cars per household or one cars per, 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 car, uh, car per ha household. Right, so that means, you know, the, car, the house must have a driveway and there are one or less cars per household, something like that. And there we have the answer to that part of the question. And that sums up this whole question, I think. Yep. And um, other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that's going to appear somewhere up here at the end of the video. Other questions from um, the topic of Venn diagrams, probability uh, from P uh, S1 can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link in the middle. Thank you for watching and see you soon.